If you want to know more about Greeblies, today's your day. Because today, we're going to talk about the origin of Greeblies. And probably not the origin you expected. That's coming up. Before we get into the origin of a Greebly, let's first discuss what is a Greebly. The origin of the word Greebly comes from George Lucas while he was filming his first movie in the Star Wars trilogy, A New Hope. According to Wikipedia, a Greebly, or Nerny, is a prominent detailing added to the surface of a larger object that makes it appear more complex and therefore more visually interesting. It usually gives the audience an impression of increased scale. Designers like Ken McConnell would add Greeblies found in model kits to the Millennium Falcon that gave it its signature look. That seemed really complicated. In reality, a Greeblies two things. One, it's a point of interest, something that you find interesting, and it also helps you with scale. Something that allows you to see the proportion of a character relative to the things that are around them, like a spaceship. Well, I know you and I can talk about Greeblies for days, but I wanted to segue here and talk about another type of Greebly. It's this little guy. This purple Yoda looking character comes from a Greebly of another type of origin, one that comes from psychology. The psychology origin of Greeblies comes from three scholars. First is Robert Abelson first coined the term Greeblies. Second is James Tanaka who actually created these Greeblies. In fact, he made a complete set of 60 Greeblies. Within them are five families and two genders. And Isabel Gauthier, who led an experiment to see how fast and accurate people could differentiate one Greebly from another, with each one's appearance being uniquely different from another, so it stands that each Greebly is like a fingerprint unique unto itself, just as people are. They discovered that through the use of Greeblies, people with experience and training were able to determine the differences of the Greeblies, the families and the gender of those Greeblies. They also discovered that it expanded beyond just the Greeblies or even just a person's face. People would be able to discern the difference of objects. Now, of course, some of the practical applications that came from this research was facial recognition software, things that you would use for a laptop or a phone. However, facial recognition is not perfect for everyone, just like Din Djarin on a mission to a hidden Imperial Rydonium refinery on Morak where the most difficult feat in an Imperial facial recognition terminal. Ah, this is not the way. Okay, I get it. I explained what a Greebly was in the George Lucas world. I explained this purple Yoda as being a Greebly. You're going, what are you talking about? So here's what I'm going at. So the reason I found this really interesting is because these Greeblies have different families and they have different genders. And each one creates a unique fingerprint or signature that defines it from something else. So when we watch movies, let's say Star Wars versus Aliens, there might be some commonality of the Greeblies they used, but how they used them, where they used them, created a unique fingerprint or signature that made all the difference for the way that world felt and appeared on screen. Now in the maker community, we oftentimes try to make replicas of what we've seen in our favorite movies and TV shows. Now, some people try and make them look identical, getting the identical parts that they used when making those movies or TV shows. Other times, people take inspiration and they create their own signature or fingerprint of the way they're exploring that universe that they love so much. For me, that's what I find really interesting. When I see Star Wars, but then I see something like The Smuggler's Room, both feel like Star Wars, but they each have their indelible fingerprint 
that is unique. And I find satisfaction in watching that creativity. All right, let's do our own experiment. Let's mix psychology and sci-fi greeblies together. And I'm gonna show you a few pictures and you let me know which greeblies come from which movies and TV shows. Good luck. hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Greeblies as much as I did. Till the next time, I'm Garland, and this is Garland's Workshop. Like your phone or your eye. <laughs> I'm so close. <laughs> I can't get this line. <laughs>